All right, I guess it's about time for me to do this again. Hey, I'm Jordan Keller. Um, I kind of forgot my intro, but you know, forget it. Um, I'm going to be talking about how to bring back Little Big Planet just in general. How to just bring it back. And hopefully Sumo Digital is listening to me. I, I just really want them to just fix something in this community. Now you guys know I curse a lot in videos, so I'm going to try my best to not curse. But if I get angry, because... Boy, you will be in for a treat. Now, I was gonna make like a cursing video of me actually telling my opinion and without having to filter anything. And then I was gonna make another video that was like a clean PG rated version. But I barely upload, so I'm not gonna do that. So I was I was just gonna curse right then, but y'all already know we gotta get that YouTube revenue. But anyway, this is from my opinion, my thoughts, and uh yeah. So before I start off, I want to give this uh this shout out to A because uh he helped me out with this idea. When I watched this video on how to fix the Little Big Planet community and how to bring back Little Big Planet, um it kind of inspired me to make this video. And uh I've been having a lot of problems. I've had more things to say about Little Planet, Little Big, yeah, the Little Big Planet three basically. I've had more things to say about that than any other Little Big Planet. So I'm gonna be mostly talking about that game. Now I know I haven't been on Little Big Planet 2 in PS3 in like a whole year, but still I know what's happening in the community. The modders and shit, I'm, I'm gonna talk about that and I just cursed, oh my God. But anyway, um, certainly I've been playing Little Big Planet for like 10 or 11 years now. And uh, I, I, I never became bored with the game because it brought like a special type of nostalgia whenever I did anything with the game, like anything, like, Shit, it used to be people online drawing dicks and p***s with stickers and decorations, yet I still was sitting there like, Ah, the nostalgia. A actually, no, that, that shit was just awkward to see someone make them, and then your mom comes in, and you on the game with a sack boy with acorn nuts glued to, well, his nuts, and also a big ass carrier dick on his dick slapping you a thousand times. But that's besides the point. But as you can tell, like this game is everything to me. Like this shit is my childhood and I will play it until like I just get bored with the game, which is probably never. Because you're gonna always make more and more shit. So like, it's just it's just my favorite game. Like if you could sit there and X me, Little Big Planet or Grand Theft Auto V? I'll be like, Little Big Planet. Little Big Planet or 2K? I'll be like, Little Big Planet. But Little Big Planet 1? Little Big Planet 2, Little Big Planet PSP, Little Big Planet Karting, LBP PS Vita, or Little Big Planet 3? Of fucking course, I will pick all the other Little Big Planets other than this broken ass game. Now in this video, I'm gonna try to be as harsh as possible to Sumo Digital when I say we need a better Little Big Planet now. Like, do you really want me to go through all the reasons why we need a new Little Big Planet? Okay, bet. Now Sumo Digital tried to make LBP 3 too different from all the other Little Big Planet games. I mean, maybe it was some type of lack of creativity or wit, but here comes the reasons why. It doesn't bother me as much, but now, ever since they did like the graphic uh, improvement on PS4, whenever I look at Sackboy, like he has these big ass threads or needles or whatever it is. I can't remember what's the name of it, but uh, it's like stitches or something. It's like all over him and it looks really chunky. But hey, I mean, it doesn't really bother me as much, but hey. Now you guys know how every single Little Big Planet, like when you get on the pod controllinator or whatever it's called to like go on levels and shit, it's like the theme song in the background, it's like, it's the same, but it's different in types of ways. Like. It'll be like a futuristic type of theme song. Then it'll be like a regular theme song. Like if you listen to Little Bit Planet One and then Little Bit Planet Two, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. But Little Bit Planet Three, they just took the song out. I don't understand why they did that, but they did it for some odd reason. I guess they were just trying to be different. But that was they gave us 
the most bland, boring music in the background. I, I fall asleep every time. Not every time. I'm exaggerating, but I fall asleep or I get sleepy every single time. I just sit there and just listen to it. I don't like it at all. It, it just it's not catchy. It's it's just like it didn't give me that same vibe from like Little Big Planet 2 and older games. But if they are making a Little Big Planet 4, make sure that they have the original Little Big Planet theme song. But just in like a more creative way, like they did with Little Big Planet 2. Another thing that really made me mad for some odd reason, they um they changed the thermometer on the moon. Now you know when you're on the moon on Little Big Planet 1 and 2, and like you fill it up with a whole bunch of shit, and like it just tells you, hey, yo, you got too much shit on here, son, dead ass. And like the thermometer just busts upwards to hell and flashes red. Well, now it just busts upward on Little Big Planet 3. It busts upward to hell, and then the low quality ass shattered effect appears on the thermometer. All right, so we're gonna try to fill this shit up. We're gonna try to add like a million nukes real quick. I already know which nuke that I'm gonna use. We're gonna place about 20 of these holes. All right. Show me the thermometer too, cause I'm gonna need that real quick. Where's that at the uh, thermometer options? Oh wait. There I go. Oh God. <laughs> Yo. I don't think I don't think I did enough. I don't think I did enough. Plan B is the big guns. This shit was never stop blowing up. So, oh my god, this is not gonna work. Yeah, either my game is gonna crash or, oh my god. <laughs> yo, yo, hey, yo. Your level has overheated, but the thermometer is nowhere near fucking full. Like, what the hell? I've been press play. I don't know. It's uh, yeah. It's trying. It's oh my god. Yo. Oh my god. It doesn't want to work. Okay, I unfroze it again. It, it's it's. Oh my fucking goodness. <sighs> okay, you know what? Fuck this. We're gonna bring out the even bigger guns. I thought the nukes was gonna work, but my little bit planet music hub. Now I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all this shit real quick. Hopefully I don't accidentally save anything and fuck up the whole level. Oh God! So the thermometer is already halfway full. Well, almost close to being full. So what I did last time somehow this worked, but I added more and more music. All right, fuck it. All right, now what I did. Number of ports I increased that shit. Now, what I did was I connected every single last one of these. I think it's slowly increasing. I think I just saw it go up a little bit. The technique is not finished yet. All right, what I did. There it go. <laughs> oh my God, that thermometer is so fucking terrible. Oh my god, look at it. Ew, why is it? Ah. It's like, okay, on my screen, I'm, I have a flat screen HD TV or, or 4K, whatever shit's called. And this shit looks so bad. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't know, but like, look at this shit. I don't know. And then you can also see the error that I just did. All I just did was just change the number, like, change the current state of the selector. I mean, it looks like they literally got the fucking shattered effect from Google and then pasted it onto the damn thermometer. Like, what the fuck? I mean, I don't think Sumo Digital can refix shit like that. And if they do, they might fuck up the game even more than what it already is now. So, I, I don't know. Now, let's get into the frame rate of this game. If you think it hasn't got bad enough, let's just get on the frame rate. You go to the store, and the store is half fucking broken because as soon as you click on more stuff or free stuff and shit like that, the game loads hella slow the frame rate drops i even remember two days ago i bought a pack and like it literally fucked up my whole menu where i had to close the app and restart like how do you mess up on shit like that speaking of menus the community menu is a fucking bust the second you hover over damn level without even clicking it it's already trying to load the damn planet of the person's profile which is why it's going so slow 
Sumo Digital, if you're listening, can you please make it to where the game tries to load the person's world a little sooner? Like, wait five seconds before the game actually tries to load the damn world so that it won't be so laggy on the menu. Now, we can all say that Sony rushed Sumo Digital. We can all say that Sumo Digital actually tried. We can even say that Sumo Digital actually did a good job on this game. That is a fucking lie. Do not say that shit. But what you guys have to actually realize is this. Let's let's put it like this. Let's say McDonald's has a new fucking type of Big Mac, right? And everybody's happy and hype about the Big Mac that's coming soon. So when they actually do drop into our McDonald's, it looks good, it smells good, all that shit. But as soon as you eat the shit, you immediately get food poison. You vomit, you get sick, you get weak, all that shit. People even die because of the damn Big Mac. So McDonald's comes out like a day later of all that shit and they say that they're working on fixing the recipe of the Big Mac. They reissue it out a couple times with different recipes and shit, but people are still getting sick and they're dying and all that. So fast forward three years later, McDonald's get totally silent about the Big Mac. Like the Big Mac is still killing people and shit. And McDonald's have been quiet about the Big Mac for like two years now. And we really like McDonald's, but the shit is dangerous to eat. That's how it actually is with Little Big Planet 3. I'm hungry as shit right now, so don't don't mind me saying all that. Nah, but seriously though, Sumo Digital really did hype us up with the broke ass game. We fed into the hype and we bought the game and it fucked up all our profiles, it fucked up all our childhood. The game looks nothing like the trailer, it has massive amounts of lag, there's basic shit that needs to be worked on, the dive in shit still says it's being built on, I can't for the love of god figure out all this new logic chips and shit how they work, whenever I'm into a damn pod and I switch into a useless ass character, the game damn near has a stroke and dies, causing you to lag out of the game, the fucking levels load 10 times slower than the original Little Planet games, and then they also took out the option to get the stickers off of any level in play mode which was the dumbest shit ever that makes like 98 percent of the sticker levels in little bit planet 3 fucking useless but then i thought what can sumo digital do to bring back this whole franchise a new little bit planet like little bit planet 4 uh, i mean it can work but that's really risky because if they fuck up that they're most likely not gonna make another little bit planet I would say, in my opinion, Little Big Planet 1 and 2 bundle remastered. Now, it's very simple. Really fucking simple, in fact. Alright, alright. I've trashed this game enough. It's time to talk about what can we demand from Sony and Sumo Digital at once. All we want is a Little Big Planet 1 and 2 remastered for PS4. Forget all the extra layers and odd sock and toggle and swoop the characters. That wasn't that fun anyway. Yes, they were really creative, but they wasn't that fun. But we just need better servers and for our childhood not to be fucked over. That's all I want, like dead ass. You can add the new power-ups and shit into the game, but for God's sake, please remaster these two games. That, that's all we need. What we all need to do, and I really need everybody who likes to play this game, please go to Twitter and tweet at Sumo Digital and Little Big Planet if you feel like it. Just type in Little Big Planet 1 and 2 Remaster so that we can actually let the company know that our community is still alive and hungry. And I want, I, yo, I want you to spam they ass like real shit. Every single tweet, spam them with that message in the comments or whatever the shit called. I refuse this game to be another Skate 3 where the community sits on a dead game and X7 Albert constantly makes 4 million damn videos on Skate 4 coming back one day when we all know that the game will never return to stores. Just go play session anyway, nobody cares about that game anymore. Honestly, I don't really care about people copying levels and all that shit. That's their opinion on if they want the level to be copied and shit. I don't I don't really care. I just feel like if we get them to make a remastered version of Little Bit Planet 1 and 2, all their money will roll right back in and the community will return. Everybody will be happy. Hell, if you remaster just Little Bit Planet 2, it'll bounce back because everybody is switching from PS3 to PS4 on a daily. So, let's combine A's idea with the Little Bit Planet 4 being disconnected from all the other little bit planets with my idea i feel like all the past dlc and shit from every single other little bit planet should still be on the game but in terms of community levels and shit all that shit should be gone like completely and it's gonna be hard to you know start all over and you know have a fresh new start but it will feel like i'm telling you this shit will work like i just know that it will work like believe me and i don't know if i can really blame sumo digital because if you really think about it okay so all this shit from little bit planet one and two is still getting added on to a whole new game that has about two times more shit so it's kind of like you cleaning your browser history if we restart everything and just take all the levels community levels and shit off because you got to think about it little bit planet had a lot of shit to load like just think about all those online levels all those stickers from previous games all those decorations all those pictures and shit all those textures all materials 
objects, your, your save community objects, all that shit is getting added on to Little Planet 3. And I mean, you can't really blame them because at the same time, like, imagine you have to think about it like your browser history. If you have a lot of shit on your computer from your browser history, your your um website like loading websites and shit is gonna go really slow so i think that's what's wrong with little bit planet 3 it just needs to restart everything just take everything off and then you still have to think about it like that was just like all the shit from story mode and shit like that community levels that's not even dlc we still got a lot of shit that's from dlc oh yeah and then plus you got costumes and all that shit like that's a lot of shit to load onto a whole nother game as also adding more shit onto it now all that shit i just said in this whole video um i wrote down so that's why I probably was talking so good. But now I'm just talking off my head. So let me just say this real quick. Some more digital. If you don't fix anything in this community, we just need you to remaster Little Big Planet 1 and 2. That's all we want. And if you don't do this shit, if we spam you about 2,000 times and you do not do this shit, I want you to fucking go bankrupt by next month. I swear to God, I want you to have your company sitting on the fucking side of their building holding up spare chain signs. I swear to goodness, if you do not fix this game, give us some type of recognition that our community is so strong. Like, bro, all you just need to do is just give us some type of, like, some type of news about this game. If you're working on it, if you're not working on it, if you are if you want to work on it, because we can help you out if you want to work on it. But you guys are sitting there just ignoring us, and I'm not going to let that shit happen. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to let it slide. So, that's all I wanted to say about, you know, me fixing this community and shit and me fixing the game in general that's about that's that, that's that's everything um i know i cursed in this video but i'm sorry if anybody you know didn't want me to curse i mean this is just me i'm gonna be cursing all day but yeah man i just wanted to speak uh my mind on this video and hopefully it, it makes some type of impact on the little bit planet community and just little bit planet in general because i want to help this game out really badly like i really want this game to succeed and i want this game if the next game that they make if they make another game i want it to be if it's going to be their last game i want it to be their best game i just i just want this game to really improve but right now it's not looking so good because everybody's leaving you know modders starting to come in and shit and you know so digital just turning the other cheek and just ignoring us and shit so that's all i gotta say about it hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh little i don't know if it was a rant or not but it don't really matter but uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh video i'm gonna be making more videos later on in this year uh rate comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye bye <sighs> oh yeah one more thing uh by the way i'm talking from my computer mic so that's why i sound so shitty but uh aids uh profile just got corrupted but i just want to you know remind her some stuff sumo digital remember to fix the fucking stickers and play mode shit fix that because i really want some stickers i restarted my whole profile and now i gotta use all the old ass stickers the ugly ass stickers that was on like little bit planet one and shit so please fix that yeah